guys welcome to my youtube channel i am dr santosh most of you probably know me for those of you who do not know me i am an orthopedic surgeon and i am also a stem cell medicine specialist i am certified in both specialties uh, my idea behind this channel is to educate and make things simple for people and i also wanted to explain in detail because i believe when people know why they are doing something they do something so if you like this channel subscribe for it if you like the video let me know that you liked it so that i can make more videos like the ones you prefer yeah thank you very much so uh, this is the continuation video for how to boost our immunity the five things which we need to do so first viruses see viruses are not very advanced creatures they are quite primitive because uh, if you take a bacteria or a fungus they have a lot of cell organelles they can uh, make their own energy own protein they can do everything viruses can only keep their genetic material which has all the damage they can cause safe for a long period of time they don't even have a proper cell membrane so they just have the genetic material wrapped in some gel called the cytogel or cytoplasm and then it has a membrane which is just made up of protein and fat units that's why when you wash your hands with soap it saponifies and uh, viruses get destroyed now coming to how are we going to survive with this covid-19 see it is extremely simple for me Uh, we have to build our hygiene we need to keep clean so that viruses are not around us one two we need to build our inner defense because uh, the reason why a virus affects somebody with a lower immunity is viruses need cells to replicate they need hosts who do not recognize that there is a virus already inside their body which means somebody who has a low immunity somebody who doesn't have the soldier cells which come and see regularly so how do we increase our soldier cells that is the main thing because then when a virus comes our soldier cells will immediately bang on come and finish the viruses that should be our goal goal should be to reach there to keep the viruses at bay by strengthening our first line of defense that is our body so how do you do it so today i have five points which i'm going to explain in detail because i want you guys to do it one keep your oral and nasal hygiene really really clean how do you do it first brush your teeth before you go to sleep i hope all of you are brushing your teeth when you wake up it is extremely important and if you eat anything sweet please brush your teeth and gargle with salt water i will tell you why viruses or organisms need sugar they need fuel in order to grow so when there is sugar in any region for example if you're diabetic and you've had uh, something sweet and it's in your stomach if there is if there are viruses in your stomach viruses will tend to grow in that medium so keep your sugars in control don't eat anything which could suddenly make your sugar go high that will help viruses to grow even if they are in smaller number because they have more fuel then the next point here is so you have to keep your mouth clean by gargling and brushing you have to keep your nose clean by doing the sinus washes with with the neti pot again salt water is very very good and if you want to go one step higher you can use hydrogen peroxide h2o2 you have to use it in a dilution of 1 is to 5 you can gargle with it and you can also clean your nose with it and it is it has antiseptic activities but you should definitely dilute it do not put it straight inside then the same thing coming for your stomach you need to make sure that you take your probiotics lactobacillus is of extreme importance because when there is good bacteria you cannot fill a cup which is already full that is the agenda here keep your stomach bacteria natural bacteria abundant by taking probiotics by taking curd by not eating too spicy too oily food by uh, by trying to eat healthy food by washing your food try to keep your food hygiene clean because the virus is enters through your nose your mouth and then stay in your stomach for the first 2 days so if you can strengthen these three 
you're good. So that is point one. Second point two is hydrate. You need to have adequate water in your body so that it circulates. There is also another advantage. When you have water, your skin is supple. You know, you know it's moist. Your uh, mucosa is moist. So th there is no possibility of micro tears inside. When you scratch, it won't get torn. So even if there are viruses, they won't enter inside. So hydration is extremely important. Apart from that, it helps in your circulation. So please hydrate yourself adequately. Do not be dehydrated. The third point is a very important point. See, vitamins are of utmost importance. Vitamin C or ascorbic acid. It is there in lemon and all the citric fruits. Please have as much of that as you want because it directly inhibits viral growth. Then vitamin D. Vitamin D also is extremely important. It has a lot of benefits. It actually goes and sits on your respiratory cells. Um, I am going to explain this in detail. So we have different cells that is in our nose. The cells which are inside are, are different. When it goes to a trachea, it is different. When it divides into two, into the bronchioles, it is different. In the lungs, it is different. Yeah. So all these cells have receptors called ACE receptors. Okay. So the what the virus does is when it comes inside, if the receptors are free, the virus goes and attaches onto it and tries to enter the cell. So when your immunity is good, what happens? First of all, the viruses are not allowed to come inside. Secondly, when your vitamin D is high, the vitamin D goes and attaches onto those receptors and doesn't allow the viruses to affect the ACE receptors and enter the cell. This is effective only when the virus is in its first stage, when it just enters into you. So if you're already having a good vitamin D and vitamin C level, it is brilliant, it might not even replicate. Then zinc, zinc is also another essential uh, metal, mineral which you need to take. Talk to your doctor about this and get a dosage. Universally, uh, 60,000 international units per week is very good for a maintenance dose, especially if you are not having the sun. Please take it. Please take cod liver oil, omega acids, all those help to boost your first line of defense. Then point number four is exercise. So I'm going to divide it into three parts. Okay. One is cardio exercise. So please do moderate cardio exercise, do slow walking, do fast running because when you do that, you stimulate your bone marrow. Your bone marrow is what produces your white blood cells and your white blood cells are what soldier and fight against immunities which come. So cardio is important for that and it also improves your lung function. Then muscle, you have to do weight training because when you have more muscle in your body, muscle is the most efficient unit of energy consumption in our body. So the more we have of it, the better our glucose is utilized and we do not have any excess sugar lying around which could be fuel for the viruses to grow. So for that reason, exercise is extremely important. Muscle is extremely important. Then please start doing yoga, especially exercises to strengthen your diaphragm and improve your lung capacity. Because when you do that, this virus affects the alveoli, which is the smallest unit where gas exchange happens. Those are protected by your natural ventilatory strength increasing. Yeah, I hope I'm making sense. If anything is too complicated, tell me in, in your comments. I would love to, to listen to you and find out what you're thinking because we need to know all this in order to fight and win over that as a community. Now, finally, fifth point is turmeric, ginger and garlic. Yeah? We have it in our food all the time. Turmeric could be new for people who are not Indian, uh, but you can use turmeric because it has curcumin, which is a natural antibacterial and antiviral. You can use it in food. You can use it in juice. You can use it in your milkshakes and you can even bathe with it. It is a brilliant antiseptic. So let us start doing these five things. Yeah, it's very easy. Oral hygiene and gastric hygiene, hydration, vitamins C, D and zinc, exercise, cardio exercise, muscle exercise. Finally, whatever our uh, cub, our habits are like turmeric is and ginger and garlic is used a lot in Indian cooking. So use more of it. It really boosts your inner immunity and maintains your stomach health also. Use 
food substances which are naturally available and easily available so that you can do it for a long period of time so here we go these are the five points i will be i will be bringing you validated information about how you can strengthen your immunity and the things you can do to protect yourself from any infection in general tell me what you liked about the video and if you want me to explain anything in detail let me know be home be safe let us strengthen ourselves and get over this thing thank you dr santosh